Well, ever wondered how your favorite retail store, quick service restaurant, or a manufacturing facility could forecast demand or apply quality control? Well, today we're going to explore how Abe's Burger, my fictitious yummy burger joint, built and modernized their restaurant by up-leveling their edge technology using Google Cloud. Let's go talk this through over a burger and some fries, because hmm, why not? <laughs> I am Priyanka Vergadia, and this video is all about burgers. <laughs> well, it is all about burgers, but with a twist. I am about to show you a demo where we built an edge solution for a burger joint called Abe's Burger. They've got more than 5,000 locations, and they need to deploy and implement consistent technology at all their joints. Are you ready? Let's go. Now, before we dive in, let me just say that even though we're looking at a quick service restaurant as an example here, the design patterns and concepts would apply to other scenarios as well, like the hospitals, retail stores, manufacturing facilities, and more. With that, let's dive into Abe's Burger and what they are looking to accomplish. Each Abe's restaurant has a manager, and the goal is to simplify the manager's day-to-day -day job by providing a unified view of the status of their store. We can do this by using the existing feeds from CCTV cameras. First, they would like to identify abandoned tables, which are dirty. In addition, they would also like to leverage camera feeds of drive throughs to better understand the wait time per vehicle. The store manager will leverage IoT across Restaurant Edge using anomaly detection to predict potential issues with refrigeration units before it's too late. And through the use of IoT sensors, Abe's would like to measure quality control so they can detect the amount of time food is sitting in a hot hold. Local real-time decisioning at the edge is also very important for Abe's. Their customers expect personalized experiences. Imagine a menu board that highlights areas based on customers' previous interests. Forecasting demand in real time is also very critical for Abe's to stock up on ingredients and prepare food. There are many factors to consider, such as local traffic conditions around each location, staffing augmentation, and store sales. Evaluating these across each edge location would be cumbersome. But through the use of cloud technologies, we can centralize logic for evaluating sales data, calculating the expected demand, while pushing these calculations to each location for real-time decision-making. The customer experience is very important to Abe's Burgers. Understanding when trash bins are full, for example, is pretty critical. Think back to the time when you were dining in a fast food restaurant, dodging the crowd to get your trash put into the bin, only to notice that it was already overflowing. Using sensor data or local computer vision, we can help avoid this scenario. And these decisions are not always binary. For example, if the trash is 75% full, but our forecasted demand model indicates a lunch rush, which will start soon, then taking out the trash when it's almost full may make the most sense. We won't have time to cover each of these scenarios in this video, so we will focus on two, which is detection of dirty tables and demand forecasting. To solve this, we will use Anthos for Edge for such large distributed Edge use cases, providing management of containerized and virtualized workloads, the central control of the configuration and policy management, and a single pane of glass view. It removes some burden from the operations teams. And by doing this, we drive business value for Abe's Burger in the form of insights, personalizations, streamline operations, and workflow management. Okay, now let's see the demo for Abe's Burger. This is a UI that we built for Abe's that runs on the edge. It helps visualize the applications running in real time, and it's deployed on top of Anthos. And to learn more about Anthos and this deployment, check out the description. 
Let's say Abe's is looking to forecast future demand for the restaurants and influencing local dashboard for store managers. These raw events are crucial to daily operations, so we will stream them to Google Cloud. Using PubSub, we can collect events across all the 5,000 locations for Abe's Burgers. The JSON message body includes the raw events coming from the Anthos store cluster. Before we can act on the data, we need the ability to store the raw events. The raw events also need added context. Here, we use Dataflow to assist the windowing and aggregation data as it streams through while combining it with additional data sets. For example, we will add context to each raw transaction to understand which region and franchise the event belongs to. Also, we'll be using data from product catalog to gather metadata about the items being sold. Is the item part of the combo meal or kids meal or a dessert item? Data flow will also be beneficial, providing windowing and aggregation of events. Now, corporate dashboards, machine learning models, and other applications will be able to take advantage of the time series aggregations at minute, hour, and daily level. In addition, we group the aggregations based on different categories. For Abe's, we're using data groupings by product category, region, and franchise. BigQuery ML enables data scientists and data analysts to build and operationalize machine learning models directly inside of BigQuery using the simple SQL. Now, we have built a simplistic version of demand forecasting for Abe's Burger using BigQuery ML. While the production models would likely be a bit more complex, this is meant to illustrate how simple it is to leverage BigQuery ML for creating models. Here, we're building a linear model for demand forecasting. This model takes into account historical sales patterns per location and product to build a demand forecast for a location and items for specific point in time. Now, querying these models for future months provides calculated answers to questions for Abe, such as, how many combo meals will store 1100 likely sell next month? Abe's plans to use these calculations throughout daily operations. Let's explore one option for getting these calculations out to stores for real-time analytics at the edge. Now, Abe's already leverages MySQL within their stores and already has a containerized version of MySQL running on Anthos. Leveraging our BigQuery model and scheduled queries, we will calculate demand daily and store the results in Cloud SQL within Google Cloud. We will then leverage replication to update the demand calculations at the edge. Now, Abe's restaurant demand application has detected an increase in demand, and we can see this reflected in the restaurant's UI. Looker is Google Cloud's BI platform that allows us to combine data from multiple sources into a single dashboard. Here we see the Looker dashboard for Apes. We can see real-time sales data and can drill down to get more details. We can also pull in data from social media to understand the customers better. The dashboard shows Abe's chicken sandwiches have gone viral and everyone wants one. Let's now go through Abe Burger's dining room cleanliness scenario using some real world data. Here's our in-restaurant dashboard showing no active alerts and everything is green. Here we see our quick serve restaurant dining room camera and our dashboard, which shows that we resolved all of the previous actionable status messages, and specifically that all tables are clear or in use. Now, taking a deeper look into how this actually works, you will first see the system recognizes that table five is clean and not in use. Once people are using the table, the system recognizes people at the table using our machine learning model and automatically updates the table status to in use. The images are captured by the dining cam pod and runs through the dirty table inference API, which in turn uses both the predict people and predict clean table models. Once the dirty table inference API has both results, it stores the results in the database and sends any alerts to the dashboard via a local queuing system. 
We used Google Cloud's Vertex AI AutoML service to create our dirty table model. We simply uploaded labeled images of clean and dirty tables in order to automatically train and test the models used in Anthos at the edge. You can see we actually had a pretty small number of training images and a very good recall score. For the people detection model, we used a publicly available TensorFlow Hub pre-built model. This significantly reduced the time and cost of deploying and using models at the edge. That was our fictitious quick service restaurant, Abe's Burger. Why did we choose burgers again? Well, because who doesn't like burgers? So if you're interested in discussing the use cases relevant to your enterprise and see how edge computing patterns can enable those, please reach out to us at the email described below.